Well, even this dreary weather did not stop a full day of celebrations at the Sick Day Parade in Midtown this afternoon. Our CBS 2's Naveen Dollywal brings us all the festivities. As the floats made their way down the pavement on Madison Avenue, the sounds of Sikh traditions were heard loud and clear. For the 35th annual Sikh Day Parade, many of them wearing colorful turbans and cultural clothing, most of them wearing a rain poncho, lined up to celebrate the Sikh faith called Vasaki. Today is a celebration of Vasaki, so it celebrates the creation of our faith, um, and we're here. We're here celebrating. For blocks, they danced, marched, and displayed traditional Sikh martial arts. And then there was a distribution of the large community free meal called the Langar. Aim is to make the people aware about the community, about the culture, the religion, and the language. This year, the celebration even more special. As earlier this week, it was a big moment for six in New York after the state Senate passed a resolution declaring April 2023 Sikh Awareness Month. That's a really proud moment, really, really proud for our, especially all the youngsters, you know, when they will grow up like us, they will know that someone was there who did something for them. Sick Americans have tried to bridge the gap, especially after September 11th, when they faced racist backlash. I think we've made a lot of progress with getting the image out there, but I think there's still a lot of people who, if you ask them who's a German American, they won't be able to tell that that's a sick. And moments like today are to teach, to celebrate, and to have pride in. Growth of the community and acceptance of the community within New York City, it means a lot. And when I see the sex serving in NYPD, that actually makes me proud. In Midtown, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News.